What up, guys? It's Charles Bobby here. Still doing my dreads. Man, I decided to start, decided to start a new video. Um, so, a lot of people do the whole baking soda, apple cider vinegar rinse thing, right? Here's my question about that. Baking soda is much, much, much smaller than a grain of sand, correct? Um, and what I've noticed is when I go to the ocean, uh, I can wash my hair when I'm done, after, right before I go leave to come back home, wash my hair and get, get a lot of sand out and whatnot, because if the wave is really big, churning up a lot of sand and you can get a lot of sand in your dreads, right? So here's my thing though. Um, when I get home, and this just, just literally just happened in the day, I woke up the next morning and there were, <laughs> there was sand all over my pillow. And I'd washed my hair twice since then. Um, and there was still sand all over my pillow. So my thought process was this. If a grain of sand is bigger than uh, baking soda, wouldn't it make sense that more baking soda is going to permeate and get inside your dreads and possibly never come back out or get stuck in there or whatever else because it's so much smaller and it's in there. I mean, no matter how many times you wash your hair, you're probably still going to have baking soda in your dreads. Also, why are you using baking soda in your dreads? Um, it's not something I've ever done and I never will do. I won't use apple cider vinegar either because I don't see the need. You wanna know what I use? I'll show you, you've heard this before. <sighs> I know you've heard it before, I talked about it before. Boom, suave, cheap daily clarifying shampoo. I didn't care if it's daily clarifying shampoo. I'll use any cheap old suave shampoo because quite frankly, it works. Um, it's, I don't see the need for apple cider vinegar. I don't see the reason behind baking soda. Okay, I get, yeah, baking soda can neutralize. Okay, great. Apple cider vinegar has a lot of acid, so wouldn't the uh, baking soda neutralize the acid? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. But number two, why? Why? I mean, okay, baking soda can also help get rid of odors, but what's it really doing for your dreads? Stop being a weirdo and just use shampoo, like a normal person. Like, I get it, like, oh, hey, I'm all natural, man, and I use it, but you know what, why? Just use shampoo, it's, it's so much easier. Um, and like, I've seen some videos I've watched, because occasionally I'll sit and watch other people's dread videos or other dread videos, I see people going outside in their yard, like washing their hair, or, like getting these big old buckets out and soaking their dreads for a deep wash or getting those things, like, just wash your hair, just, just normally wash your hair. I've had my dreads, it'll be a, a we're pushing 20 years this summer. Um, in August, it'll be 20 years. My hair's, it's fine. And I have never, ever done an apple cider vinegar, look, these things are getting long. Uh, I've never done an apple cider vinegar rinse. I've ever done baking soda and I don't see the need for it. I'm also getting ready to chop off about this much of my dreads because they're getting way too long. Like it's kind of cool having long dreads. It's kind of fun, you know? But at the same time, like when I go to a, to a, you know, we're on vacation and someone's like, holy cow, your dreads are super cool, they're super long, that's amazing. But I'm also like, yeah, you know, I'm bending over, cleaning the toilet or something, or cleaning something up, whatever, my dreads are getting in, it's just gross. Um, yeah, you could pull it back, I guess, but you know, still, even then, it's, they flip over, even they're pulled back, they flip over sometimes and they're just super long, or like they're getting trapped behind me, or I go like this, and, and I whip my wife in the face and she gets all mad. So I think it's time to cut the dreads down a little bit. Just a couple inches, six inches or so. Look at that, a little frizzy on the outside. That's all right, give it a twist like that. Not too tight. And I have another dread down, look at that. Oh. And then a rubber band breaks. That happens sometimes when you take them out. Um, so you use a new rubber band. That's one of the most annoying things, by the way. When you take a rubber band out like that, or you get ready to put it in, you've got it twisted a couple times, and it lets go and it smacks you in the head. Oh. That pisses me off. Um, it hurts so bad, but it's fine. Two and three. So as you can see again, sound effects. That's what makes that's what makes me the big bucks in the big videos. Sound effects. As you can see though, that's all cleared out around there now. Everything's all sectioned off, which is good and bad because when your hair is sectioned like this and you're at the beach, you can easily burn your scalp right here because there's nothing protecting your head. You could put sunblock on. I don't really do that. Um, I think I'm gonna hop on live now and see what happens. Let's go on YouTube live and while I do my dreads, I can answer some questions if anybody's on. If not, meh, I'll just talk to myself.